Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel where I like to share any and all things that bring me joy, hence the name Share Elation. In a recent video, I did a review of, uh, sort of a recap, not really a review, a recap of my most and least used luxury handbags in my collection. And this is sort of like a part two where I go through my, I call it like non-luxury handbag um, uses in 2022. And I wanted to show you really just the most used ones. Um, I don't have an extensive collection of non-luxury, um, but those that I do have, they're really basically like Longchamp totes, which I do rotate every now and then. It, they're not really most used because I don't always need a huge tote bag. Um, and I just wanted to talk a little bit about this, especially these two in front from Lululemon, which surprisingly were one of my most um, top used bags in 2022. So I'll talk a little bit more about that. Um, so here you'll see the, the classic belt bag, the everywhere belt bag that's been so popular um, on social media. And I've seen a lot of people talk about this on YouTube. It's a very affordable purchase of only $38 and it fits a surprising amount. I got the original version where it has the black hardware, but it can fit so much in here. It's very convenient just to sling across your body or as a belt bag. I always use it sort of like across the body and I won't show, you know, what fits and all of that because I've done videos on that on that before, but it's such a convenient like grab and go bag, which sometimes I do need when I'm just running quick errands and I don't want to carry like uh, an expensive bag because I just need to run in and out of a store or a supermarket or maybe when it's raining I, I would use any of these bags because they're so durable and carefree. So that's one of my top used is the Lululemon Everywhere Belt Bag. The next one, I think I use this more um, than any of the four over here, is uh, the Lululemon um, I think it's called the micro backpack. I'll provide the link down below. They still have these uh, every now and then, but sometimes different colors. This is um, sort of like a similar to the Palm Springs mini backpack from Louis Vuitton. I never owned that, but I always found it very cute. I just didn't want to spend that kind of price point for something like that because it, to me, this is such a casual bag that I can use every day and I don't have to worry or fuss about it. This was $78 when I purchased it and it has a lot of room for a bag this size. I'm actually currently using that and I have my things in here. So you'll see you know, my card holder, tissues, a little catch-all, um, like a card holder. And it's very convenient because Again, it's carefree, it's lightweight, and I can use this um, when it's like raining or snowing. I won't have to be so worried about damaging it because it is a very durable nylon material. Okay, and then I have this crossbody messenger style bag that I purchased um, from Italy back in, I think it was 2014. And I got this at that time in a local store. I've done a video on this, but it was a local boutique in Florence. And throughout the years, this leather has, number one, held up so well. It has aged really well, and it gets smoother and smoother every time I use it. Now, there is a little bit of color transfer in the back, but it is what it is. It is so durable. I don't worry about scratches or even getting caught in the rain, and I mean heavy rain or heavy snow. It it has lasted. It doesn't even really ruin the leather, and I would say it, it just gets better over time. I know that the color transfer will always be there, but it's the back of the bag, and it is what it is. Uh, but I would always use this if I need to go out and the weather is horrible. I, I don't, and I don't want to catch any attention with any kind of brand name bag. This would be my go-to and because of the color, it, it matches everything during all four seasons. Okay, next is um, a tote bag from Tory Burch. This is an, the old version of the Perry Tote. So let me move this out of the way. 
It's an old version of the Perry Tote, which has no divider in the middle, which I actually prefer. And inside is actually reversible. Um, it, it has the gold interior, which you can flip it out and use it on the gold side, but I always use it on the black side. This is my go-to bag when I need to go to work uh, or I need to go on a business trip or if I even have like meetings to see clients or, or whatnot. So this is a very low key bag and you can see the very minimal branding here and nothing on the back. No, so no extra pockets or anything. It just only has a interior pocket here and it does come with a removable uh, pouch for you know any sensitive items that you, you want to keep safe. But this has been the bag that goes with me to my work trips in London um, or even going out to work normally in, in the city. And a recent uh, purchase, which I'll add as a bonus, it's definitely not most used because I recently got it, is my Lululemon um, tote bag. This is called the Grid Tote Bag. It's quite big. Actually, I just tested this before. This Tory Burch tote bag fits inside of this. And I am so happy with this purchase because number one, it's very lightweight very durable um, and it has the feet the most important feature that I've been looking for which is the back pocket that you can unzip at the bottom and put through your luggage as um, the they call it like a, the trolley sleeve so you put this through the luggage um, where you have your handle and your tote bag will stay in place it won't flop over uh, because I had that issue when I was traveling. It was quite annoying to have to hold it or carry the bag on my shoulder as well as roll my um, carry-on luggage. And now the, the, the even better bonus is that that to uh, Tory Burch tote will fit inside of this. So next time if I travel to London or anywhere for work, I would bring the Tory Burch tote bag and put it inside of this and use it as my carry-on as well as you know have my laptop my regular things so in bringing two bags in one go and this would be in such a space saver i wouldn't have to try and squeeze the tote bag or this bag into the luggage and this would work out very nicely so i'm really happy that that actually fits in it because that is more of a professional looking bag when i'm going to work and and want to um you know look appropriate for work as opposed to bringing this. So this is more like a travel bag and that would be the work bag. Um, the last one is a little bit of a bonus. It's it's not a bag, but honestly, I kind of use it as a bag. And it is this Longchamp Le Pliage. Um, I think it's, it's just called a, a pouch, a Le Pliage pouch in the green line you'll tell you'll be able to tell it's from the green line because the trim here is like this neon green color i've used this as a quick grab and go uh, small bag it's very very simple in construction one opening and that's it but to my surprise it actually fits a lot now if i have errands to run and I need to just grab and go and you know make a quick run to the supermarket go to the post office pick up my kids from school all I need is my phone and my uh, my Louis Vuitton key clay where I keep my driver's license and key credit key uh, credit cards that I use most of the time all I need is that and I put that in here you know, sometimes maybe a lip balm because it's, it's, it's the winter season now, my lips get dry, or maybe even a hand cream. So bare, bare essentials. And this is such an easy grab and go option. It's too bad that it doesn't come with a strap, but I've seen people kind of change this to uh, punch a hole and put a strap into it. I don't think I'll do that because I have other bags that can serve that purpose, but this is a very easy going bag. Um, well, I'm using it as a bag because it's also very much um, weatherproof, um, carefree, and it's just a very convenient thing to literally grab and go. And it does even fit at the crook of my arm. Like I can put it through, but I have a lot of clothes on right now. 
So that's just a little bonus. And if you want to see more details on this one, just check out one of my recent videos where I, I talk about this and go into more detail of what fits and, and everything like that. So that's it for me in terms of my most used non-luxury bags in 2022. If you have any questions about any of the bags that I talked about, feel free to leave a comment down below. I would love to have a conversation with you there. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Um, subscribing would really help my channel. And I hope you have a happy and healthy rest of your day. Thanks. Bye.